Peace be with you all. Welcome to an SDTV where I talk about things that hopefully will cause you to think about becoming risen yourself. Because an SD means risen. That's the root. So today I'm going to talk about MGTOW. Men going their own way. It's this movement that I have been watching from a bit of a dif- uh, distance over the past year, probably, along with the red pill philosophy and uh, and whatnot. Now, if you're unfamiliar with all of th- with both of these specific movements and philosophies. I would suggest that you do a little bit of reading on it, on it for yourself because I'm going to give my ideas and maybe theories behind uh, perhaps relatable to MGTOW and maybe the Red Pill. So a little background about me because I expect that there will be many viewers who are new to my channel. I am quite almost conservative and I have great faith and so when I look out into the world and see what's going on with it I want to know why. I want to know why things change and why things have continued on a certain sort of path as I see it, and many things have troubled me as far as this idea of going to a more, as we go to a more secular society, things seem to be getting worse as far as this new wave of feminism and and how vicious and uncaring people in general are becoming, but specifically as far as the sexes go, and if you're following this election, which I have been a little bit more lately than I uh, was when it started, this whole men versus women thing is just, it, it keeps coming up, and to me, as who I am, that bothers me because it causes me to reflect on why things are like this, why things have become so divided on lines of sex, and and not to mention the crazy things with transgender-ism uh, and transsexual uh, things, let's just say, it really has gone crazy. And so when I'm out there on YouTube, and there are YouTubers I watch who are very intelligent, who are very aware of these conflicts of sex and gender issues, and it's not it's quite refreshing to hear their thoughts. So I've been introduced a little bit to men going their own way, and it does seem to tie in a little bit to the red pill. But I'll, s- I'll focus on MGTOW in this video, because the red pill, I still have to process what I've heard and try to get uh, an idea of what more people really view it as because I'm not quite sure at the moment. All I know is that the idea is to escape the matrix, if you will, and and the red pill, blue pill thing comes from the matrix. And so if you take the red pill, you'll see the world as it is, but would you want to and all this and it it's a philosophy platform it seems and it's big on Reddit. If you're familiar with Reddit, which I'm sure a lot of you are, but 
As far as MGTOW is concerned, from what I've gathered, it's all about men being men. True men. Because what we see in our society now is it seems to be shifting towards a more maybe emasculated society, but watching guys like Gavin McInnes appear on YouTube it causes it as I said before, it causes me to reflect about the political aspects of this, uh the how those policies and things and and ideologies of the, of the more liberal folks, how that affects the relationship between men and women, and not to mention race and other things. But as far as MGTOW is concerned, I would say that there is this idea of almost divide and conquer, it seems, because you have the left making you know, your typical white guy seemed to be the enemy. I was watching, I think it was CNN or I was, yeah, CNN. And they were talking about the election and they're saying, oh, well, she's got the, and I'm not naming her name, not naming anyone's name, but she's got the women vote and the colored vote down and he's got the men. Well, that sort of assumption, because it is an assumption and, it's really just it's almost silly it's almost disgusting in a way too because there's a lot of people colored even women colored women who will vote for this other candidate so for them to say oh well she's obviously got the women because she's a woman it's this idea that the men the male politicians here are, are subjugating women as if that makes any sense. And so the way I see it is that this idea that women are so subjugated uh, by men in our society and this whole, it's a, fem it's a new way of feminism. Okay, this idea of patriarchy. Oh, look at the pay is less, which, you know, it's debatable in in certain circumstances. And, and then uh, you have this, um, the idea of laws being against women. And anyone who has this political ideology is anti-women. And it just makes me laugh because the women in our society the United States of America heck western society let's just say uh, it is truly amazing what they have and what I think is happening is the, the, the typical woman is not like this well let me rephrase that there's a small minority. There's a there's a minority that is not like this. That is n is anti-feminist almost. Is very aware of history. Is aware of the things that make men and women different. And then you have this growing uh, minority, sort of a the very aggressive feminists who I, I've encountered them and it is quite shocking it's it there's really no words there really are no words they act as if they have never had a right in their life and they have to fight to to push down men which is Women are the majority as it is. I, I think it's in worldwide for sure. But anyway, this uh, there's these two sort of polar polarized um, 
opposite end of the spectrum minorities. But in the middle, you ha I think you have a mix. And that's generally how politics works anyway. For example, you have your extremes and then you have your mix. But I think this is more and more leaning towards that feminist side. And in pop culture especially, in, in really pop culture, but the more the, the politics... These are the two big ones. Just think about next time you're out and, and maybe next time you're watching the news or watching whatever it may be, examine and think about what is going on in for everything, but not, not just as far as genders are concerned, but it really appears to me that there's this uh, war of the sexes going on. And the way I see MGTOW is we men must rise above, break through the lies and the things that are being thrown about, and we just have to be aware. And that will make us stronger. It if we understand, and I'm Christian, so I believe that there's a design and there is a purpose for everything, but especially for man and woman, to say, oh, well, women should be fine being single and that's empowering and it's like no it's not and I know this may be a, bit, a little bit ranty but it's not empowering and I was to kind of wrap up I was watching a YouTuber that I like quite a bit uh, classic Obas C-L-A-S-I-K O-B-A-S if you want and he talks about these kinds of things, the modern woman, the western woman. And he said that the point of the agenda is to, and it's kind of the society's the way it's going, is to destroy like the nuclear family. It's to destroy that. Because once that's gone... Once the roles of man and women are altered, it it's downhill, essentially. So I thought that was quite profound. In closing, check out MGTOW for yourself, because I didn't explain much. But really, men, come on. We have to be men. You know, it seems some men read the Bible. <laughs> but that's all for this evening, this morning. I'll see you guys all later. Peace and... Check out some of my other stuff, so. B bye.